All right, greetings and salutations. My name is Comic Fire, and welcome back for more Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury. In this episode, we're going to get the last Dragon Ball. Look, Goten, that priest is wearing the Dragon Ball around his neck. Where did you come from? He looks mad. Don't play games with me, kid. I got big problems. Vol just cursed. Cursed, I tell you! Can I have your necklace, please? Looks like we got a monster to beat. Oh, the head shaman of Not a Day Village. He won't let you pass the priest permission. You need to be level 100 to pass the gate, as you can see. And let's kick some ass. First off, we got bigger and better palette swaps of ghosts called phantoms. They're still kind of pathetic. Or are we just that good? Now there are... Oh shit, we got Majin... Pilot swaps and Majin soldiers too. Elite Majin fighter. And elite Majin soldier. Now there are two paths through the woods here. I'm going to take you through one of them. Got pilot swaps of the ninja... Shinobi. They still fall to one hit, though. That was a critical, so I can't tell too much. Uh, I don't know if I actually... I don't know if we've actually seen regular zombies yet, but if not, this is a pallet swap of them. I don't think I've, we've seen one. Is, is he new, too? Yeah, we're up scallion. Oh, we're actually dying. There we go. Cool stuff. And here's our first destroyer out in the wild. Night Destroyer. A first Night Class Destroyer, at least. We had Pilaf's Guardian earlier. More pallet swaps. All of which die to just one punch. We won't see pallet swaps of these guys till a bit later. But yeah, there's a lot of pallet swaps in the game. I guess it saves time on making new enemies. Doesn't matter. Anyone who played Dragon Quest is familiar and comfortable with palette swaps. Well, Dragon Quest, Warrior, whatever you want to call it. Even the Pokemon guys are familiar with it. The only with shinies that are kind of like in a um, black and white. Uh, Thunderous, Tornadus, and Landorus are all technically they kind of palette swaps to each other. Did I really get up here this quickly? I thought getting here alone was going to take most of the episode. Oh, hey, what do you know? There are new pallet swaps. Bones. They do have a set amount of HP. But we still don't get experience for it, so it's useless to us. Oh, but we're not done yet. Oh, no, we are not done yet. Oh, there are pallet swaps of vampires, too. Vlad. And we get the charge gloves. Well, 
realize when you OP a game, you realize some of your the parts you thought were really long are actually quite short. More palette swaps with these guys. Palette swaps with the mummy. Palette, palette, palette swap. Where's this go? I don't think I've actually seen this place before. I don't think I have. Oh yeah, I have. I had to follow a guy to get to it the first time. I didn't know where it was. Cursed one. We got sneakers from a ghost. I run and tell. Oh, I went. I went up there because I thought I. Where's the switch then? Oh god, I think I'm lost. Maybe I. Or maybe I just wasn't looking. Right. Yeah, there we go. You know, one time I actually let myself die to, um, just a bunch of vampires sucking me dry. That sounded wrong. I mean, if we could have Goku at this point, we could just instant transmission onto that and save some time, but... Guess that won't be happening. Ah, uh, phone call. I'll be right back. All right, back we are. I think I said I uh, scan these guys. Cooligan. Oh, it's because he's black, isn't it? Sunglasses from the Night Destroyer. <laughs> and the toughest enemy in the game, which is actually on the top of this mountain uh, after you beat the game, is a pallet swap with the Night Destroyer. It's the strongest uh, non boss enemy in the game. And we have a pallet swap the Ronin. Save up. For boss time! <laughs> Kakarot! That's what my dad calls your dad. Alright. My dad told me about a story of a guy named Broly. He said Broly was the legendary Super Saiyan, but dad beat Broly. So what would he be doing here? So here's the boss fight, the legendary, legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Come on, Broly, jump. trying to do there. I want to try to get him to uh, jump. Again. Maybe if I... Ow. Well, do energy attacks not hurt him? Energy attacks don't hurt him. I didn't know that. Like, if, if you can make him jump in one spot twice, he'll fall into the lava. Uh, maybe I should heal up. 
got a lot of burgers. Never had any use for it. So he falls in the lava. And he's uh, vulnerable there. Now if you step in the lava, you'll take damage too. You'll be taking damage, if, you, if you're still in the lava when you defeat Broly, you'll be taking damage that whole time. So we get a Z Fighter exhibit, it's Broly's crown. And now that we've defeated the monster in the volcano, which is Broly, just gotta go back down to Nadade Village. And I'm actually just gonna meet you back there, because you've already seen the whole trek there. I don't wanna show you the whole trek back. I'll see you guys back in Nadade Village. I did promise you I would show you the other way up here. Since there were two paths to get up to the uh, Northern Wilderness. Sorry. Whoa, did that just thing show up out of nowhere? I tried to adjust the volume on my DS, which is why I had to uh, move the camera. Now, why he was holding that talisman of light, I'll never know, but... Yeah, that's pretty much the other path. Neither way is really better than the other. I just prefer to take the other one. You survived? Yeah, and we beat the monster. You did? Ah, all right, here, take it. So now we, the village priest give you the four-star Dragon Ball. Leave me alone. Oh, boy. Well, I can't believe I actually managed to do that. Finish the whole thing in one episode. Alright, I'm gonna end the episode here. So, if you liked you saw, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed. If you didn't, please tell me what I could do to fix that. In the next episode, we're gonna get all seven Dragon Balls together and move with the plots. See you guys next time.